Welcome to Young Living Essential Oils on the World of Aromatherapy. Essential oils have played an integral part of the lives of thousands of people thousands of years ago in many different cultures as they were used for their religious rituals and physical healing properties as well as being used for a means of exchange of money, bartering, trading. Kings that possessed large amounts of oils were considered to be rich. When they opened King Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922, they found 320 liters of oil in alabaster jars. Even though some of the waxes and heavy residue had solidified around the inside wall of the containers, the liquefied oil was still as pure as if it had been freshly distilled. This created an incredible study at the Cairo University, and they analyzed the properties. Why? It was quite well known by this time that the oils played an integral part in the mummification of the kings, pharaohs, and queens that were placed in the tombs. It was interesting to know that these oils preserved the human body and prevented it from decay. This is a science that has been under a great deal of study and has never been duplicated yet to this day. So they started to recognize and realize that there were properties in the oils that they were not finding in any other substance. And, of course, part of this research was conducted by the biochemistry department at Cairo University under the supervision and direction of Dr. Rodman Farag, whom I've had the privilege of studying with for the past three years. Dr. Farag has written and published more research papers on essential oils and their antioxidant, antimicrobial activity than any other person in the world. And it has been a real joy to see this research, work with him in the laboratory, and to be able to see another phase of exposure and application to essential oils. One of the areas that was really exciting and I've really enjoyed studying and researching has been through my travels to the ancient land of Egypt and my travels to Israel. In studying the biblical connection between Christ and essential oils, the references that we read about in the Bible are quite interesting. Many of those references are mentioned throughout the Bible in the Old Testament, but not as much so after the time of Christ as before. Moses, of course, was given an entire recipe to formulate to help the children of Israel. We know that hyssop was used during the time of the Great Plague in Egypt to prevent the children of Israel from contracting the plague. Many, many places, frankincense is mentioned as the holy anointing oil. And frankincense has been known throughout history as being the oil for the healing of physical and spiritual conditions. I've had the great privilege and opportunity to formulate blends for the Seventh Heaven Kit that I've selected to be specific for the use of enjoying a feeling and a tranquility that allows us to be in a space that is of higher spiritual awareness or to bring us, hopefully, to that space of higher spiritual awareness and attunement to where we may communicate and enjoy the benefits of being in that spiritual realm. Sacred Mountain is a blend that I created out of selfish reasons, which was for myself several years ago. Because of living in the city and desiring to live in the mountains and wanting to be there and not able to be there on a daily basis, I decided that I wanted to bring the mountains to myself. I have a special feeling inside that the mountains truly are a sacred place to go and to be, and it's an area that I find for myself that when I'm in the mountains, it's easier to communicate. It feels like I literally move out of all of the static and the interference of the hustle bustle of the city life and the busy streets and cars and people, and that I can be in that quiet space where I can truly communicate and draw upon the powers of heaven. And so the mountains have always been a very special place for me, and I find that for many people they are also. But we all need our quiet place to be able to meditate, to be able to pray, to be able to just communicate. And Sacred Mountain helps me in being able to do that. Simply when I inhale the fragrance of Sacred Mountain, which contains the conifer oils of fir, spruce, pine, cedar wood, and it contains a beautiful flower of ylang-ylang. Ylang-ylang has been found in the Oriental countries 
to be the oil that they revere as one of their sacred oils because it balances the masculine and feminine energies or as some will refer to it, the yin and the yang of the body. And we need that balance in order to be in a, in a space in our mind to be able to communicate more adequately. But this blend, as I inhale it, it reminds me of being in the mountains and amongst the big pine trees or fir trees to where I can feel that quietness in my mind and feel the desire to communicate. Not only do the oils of Sacred Mountain contain the properties to help us in our spiritual quest, but also for physical benefits. Let me just elaborate a little bit on that. Back during the times of the Egyptian people, when they were using the oils for their spiritual and religious rituals, their belief, whether founded or not, they believed that the more perfume, fragrance that they wore with the oils the closer it brought them to their God. And also, that the more fragrant their bodies were, the more pleasing they were to their gods. And so the Egyptian people, particularly the kings and pharaohs and queens and priests and priestesses, adorned themselves with oils on a daily basis and perhaps several times a day. As we read some of the history of Queen Hepchepsut and Nefertiti and Cleopatra, They literally bathed and had massages with oils several times a day. They also wore head cones that were saturated with oils in beeswaxes and fats. So as the heat of the day would melt the wax and the fats, the oils would run down their neck onto their body and keep them fragrant all day long. So the Egyptian people had a very strong belief about the values of oils for attuning them into their spiritual kingdom. The oils that are found in Sacred Mountain are extremely beneficial for the respiratory system. They help with the dilation of the biliary and capillary action in the lungs for greater oxygen exchange to the blood. They enable the lungs to expand and contract and breathe deeper and freer, particularly during times of stress. Inhaling the Sacred Mountain oil also is antibacterial and germicidal and can kill respiratory bacteria such as that which we experience with pneumonia or colds or flus or things of that nature. So Sacred Mountain has multiple benefits. And of course, in a diffusing application or wearing it topically as a cologne or perfume can be very, very beneficial. The next blend, Inspiration, is a blend that I created many, many years ago. And this blend was to help bring people mentally into a space to where they felt that they could communicate with their Father in Heaven, whether it was in a meditative state or just through prayer, but to bring us to that point where we could feel that. And the way the oils create these feelings is simply through working on the limbic system in the mind and touching the pineal, pituitary, thalamus, hypothalamus, all of the glands within the brain that stimulate that knowing or that desire to do that. Let's not get a misunderstanding that the oils themselves cause us to feel like we want to pray or that the oils cause us to be spiritual. The oils stimulate the mind and create feelings that bring us into that space of doing that which is right. And it helps us to find that inner peace, helps us to find the communication. The oils work also like a tuning knob on a radio. They just help us to tune in to those higher frequencies, particularly for communication. I find also that when you're using pure oils, unadulterated, they will not only tune you into those higher frequencies, but they work almost like an amplifier and transmitter of those frequencies. Where, on the other hand, if you're using an adulterated oil or a cut oil or synthetic oil or a low-grade oil, that will produce a similar frequency, meaning that a cut, adulterated, or synthetic oil will create a lower frequency and tune you in to the lower frequencies in the spiritual realm, and you may be tuned in to information that may not be that beneficial or directional for you. So 
another reason that I find that the quality of the oils is so valuable and absolutely important that we cannot compromise. Inspiration contains cedar wood oil. Cedar was a very, very popular tree and very much sought after by the people of Egypt. And we read about the cedar of Lebanon in the Bible. And the Egyptians used cedar in the mummification process because of its ability to kill bacteria and preserve tissue. So the oils we find in the mummification process were cedar wood, myrrh, and frankincense, spikenard, were four of the principal oils that were used along with some of the other herbs and spices that all were put together to create the formulations. Inspiration has been found to be most beneficial for the benefits of just bringing us into that space of feeling that we can communicate. On the physical side, inspiration is beneficial as an antibacterial agent, very powerful and has been found to help in kidney and urinary infections. And that was simply applied topically over the kidney area and onto the Vitaflex points. And it can be used in compresses. Inspiration is a beautiful oil blend to diffuse, particularly when you're feeling like you're uptight, tense, irritable, depressed, because it does reach into those deep recesses of the mind and bring us forward into that space to where we can humble ourselves and kneel in prayer and ask for the direction and things that we may need. Awaken. Awaken is the first blend that was created from blends. Many times we find ourselves stuck and not able to move forward, not able to do the things that we dream about doing or achieving our goals even setting goals, and then having the energy and the vision and the determination or commitment to work towards achieving them. Because of all of the chemicals that we are bombarded with in our world today, through food, air, water, environment, it suppresses the mind and the body functions. I believe if we want to be an achiever, we have to be willing to take risks and realize that while doing that and not being afraid to take a risk that we may stumble we may make a mistake we may fall but we can get back up again we have to keep going forward we can't stand still and depression has taken that desire away from people low thyroid function takes that away from people low hormonal function and balance takes that away from people The stresses in our lives takes that away from people. And when we come to the realization that that has happened in our lives and we want to change, one of the greatest aspects is the realization. And Awaken is a blend of oils that I have created to help bring us to that point of realization to where we awaken to the realization that we can achieve, that we can set goals that we can live on the edge. And if we're not living on the edge in life, we're taking up too much space. Don't be afraid to be an achiever, a goal setter, and a goal tender. So you can monitor and see your accomplishments. When using Awaken, use it with the awareness in your meditation or your visualization that as you're breathing in the fragrance of Awaken and you're applying it to the temples, which is creating a frequency within the mind and around you in your auric field that this may bring you to the space to where you can wake up to your higher potential and go through the various transitions that you need. But until you awaken to that fact, you're not going to make any changes in your life or any transitions that will lead you forward. So the application with Awaken, not only through the diffusing, but on the temples and on the forehead, just massage it just from the right temple across to the left temple. Very, very enjoyable fragrance to relax with and just go into your meditative state or your visualization state. Next is the gathering. This blend has been a very exciting blend to formulate and to create. I spent two years in 
bringing this blend together for the simple reason that I was not able to find one of the oils that needed to go into this blend. I met a couple of ladies in Washington, in Yakima, that had asked me if I could make a blend for the purpose of bringing people into a state of collective thinking and of which we now have named the blend The Gathering for that purpose. As I meditated on the oils that needed to be in this blend, it wasn't coming together. And I knew that when a blend doesn't just flow for me, it's not meant to come at that time. And so I put it aside, and as I would travel, I would bring the meditation back, focus on it, try to tune in to the oils that need to go in this formula. And not until September 1994, while flying between USA and France, did the direction come of the oils that needed to be in this blend. And one of the oils that I was missing that was given to me at that time was gall balm. Gall balm was an oil that was used and really appreciated by Moses. Two of his favorite oils were gall balm and hyssop. Now, we don't find a lot about gall balm oil, but it's a very, very interesting oil. It's very high in antiseptic and antibacterial properties. But what I've discovered with it, that it seems to really stimulate the mind to focus and to collect our thoughts and bring them into a center of focus. We have so much interference out there and so much bombardment of energies and information. We are being bombarded constantly with all sorts of supposedly religious information and all kinds of directions to go in. And I know that not everyone is going to go in the same direction, that each person has to find their own path, has to find their own connection, and develop their own spiritual foundation. But what I'm really concerned about is that we really connect to the right path and develop the right foundation, the foundation that's based on the principles of God. And the gathering oil, I believe, helps us to filter through the chaotic bombardment, the incoherent frequencies, the misinformation, and create a direct pipeline to that information that we desire from the higher realms of our Father in Heaven. And so the gathering can be diffused in your meditation. I enjoy wearing it just like an aftershave. I enjoy the feeling it creates. I enjoy the inspiration that it brings. And I find that with the Seventh Heaven Kit, that using the blends together are very, very specific. And this particular kit is not designed to use the oils in steps as we do in the feelings kit, but to use the oils as you feel intuitively directed to use. But for example, just a, an idea to ponder, the seventh heaven can be so beneficial when you are feeling down and depressed or just out of balance with life. And one of the ways to start off is put Sacred Mountain in the diffuser. Wear inspiration on the crown. And put gathering on the face or on the temples. And awaken on the center of the forehead. And just experience those three oils together. And always experiment. Play with the oils and find the combinations that work best for you to where you can feel the benefits. Humility is another blend in the kit that is really fun to work with, and I truly enjoyed the time in the lab when I was creating this blend. Now, humility does not mean that if you have it in your possession that you're automatically going to be humble or that you're buying humility in a bottle. When I create a blend, I always create it with intent and purpose in mind first. And when I do that, it's not always easy to try and find a name that tells us what that blend represents, other than the name of the purpose which I'm creating it for. I find that in life, we a lot of times lack the humility that is necessary to bring us into that spiritual realm that we desire to have. That doesn't mean that if we're not humble that we're a bad person. 
For example, when we're sick or depressed or angry or upset or stressed out, we're not really in a humble space. And those are all natural emotions of life. Whether we like them or not, they're still very natural. What it means in being humble is that when we are, we're more in control of our emotions. And when we're in control of our emotions and we're feeling humility, we're in a teachable space. And when we can tune into the higher frequencies of the spiritual realm and be in a space of humility at the same time, then we can receive greater direction and we can also, when we're in that space of humility, we can be a greater teacher and we can be in greater service to others. And so this oil blend of humility was created with the intent and purpose to help allow us to be in that space. And how does it work? Simply through the frequency of the oil as it stimulates the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, that creates the secretions of the endorphins and peptides and neurotransmitters that create that feeling down inside in our bosom that makes us feel that way when we are in need of being in that space. And so humility, I find, is incredible just through inhalation and through wearing it also on the temples or behind the ears or massaging the ears. The ears are a very integral part of the body for oil application, particularly when you're working with oils to enhance mind functions. Some of the oils that I selected in the creation of humility are neroli, melissa, rose, frankincense, ylang-ylang, spikenard, geranium, myrrh. All of these oils have a very specific purpose. Spikenard was the oil used by Mary Magdalene to anoint the feet of Christ. Spikenard was a very special oil for Christ, and we don't truly understand all of the reasons why. We do know it was an oil that they referred to and, and revered as being a very special oil, as was frankincense. These oils, in companionship, have created a frequency that just on the inhalation of the oil brings you to what I would refer to as a contrite spirit. And it's really a joy and a beautiful feeling to feel that and experience that feeling when you breathe the incredible fragrance of humility. Dreamcatcher is really a fun blend, and I really enjoy using it and playing with it. We have a need, and that need is to be able to dream it seems as we grow up, we're constantly told by our parents, teachers, and peers to quit your daydreaming, pay attention, wake up, get in the real world, have a reality check. And I think that that can be one of the most devastating things that we can say to our children or to anyone else. Daydreaming is a very important part of our creative processes and we need to always be in a space where we can daydream and allow ourselves to do that and give ourselves permission because daydreaming is part of visualization. It's part of creating that which we desire to have. It's also very healing and helpful for the mind because I call it many mind vacations. And I used to teach my patients in the clinic to take many mind vacations it's strange that when we're children, we daydream. When we're adults, we call it visualizing. And it's the same thing. So give yourself permission to become a child again and to daydream. The oils in Dreamcatcher were specially selected to help in a filtering process so that when we dream, it enhances our dreams and filters out the garbage that we don't want to dream about or we do not want to pull in and visualize or enhance. And this happens to be an area that I feel there's a great deal of need that we don't look at or think about so often. Because whatever we hold in our minds, we will create or attract to us. 
And sometimes we will hold negative thoughts in our minds even in a daydream state. And so Dreamcatcher hopefully will help us to not hold on to those negative attributes in a daydream state of mind to where we do not draw that to us or create that through a magnetic energy. And I enjoy putting Dreamcatcher on my pillow. I enjoy using Dreamcatcher and Awaken together. And sometimes I've used these together before doing a seminar and found myself during the seminar actually daydreaming about being in another place, another space, and doing other things. It's really a beautiful experience when using Dreamcatcher along with the other oils in the Seventh Heaven Kit. And you will find your special oils, whether it be Dreamcatcher and Gathering, or Dreamcatcher and Awaken, or Dreamcatcher and Inspiration. They can be really beautiful combinations to utilize together and experience together. The last blend in the Seventh Heaven Kit is White Angelica. White Angelica is made of 18 different oils in two different phases, where we mix half of the oils and chill them for 24 hours, mix the other half and chill them for 24 hours. Then they're blended together and chilled a second time together. White Angelica is a very special oil and could not be left out of the seventh heaven, even though White Angelica is in the feelings kit. When we're working and trying to be in a space of higher spiritual frequency or in a higher spiritual awareness, White Angelica is the oil blend that I created for the purpose of protection, for creating that auric field or that electrical field around us of purity, to shield us from the bombardment of negativity and bad energy from attacking us and taking us off that spiritual path. White Angelica can enhance that frequency of our body to create that protection. It also enhances the other oils that we use through the process, whether it is for obtaining higher spiritual awareness, getting into a closer realm of communication, or whatever we choose to be doing at that time. As it is with the feelings kit, always conclude your meditative state, your prayer time, or whatever you're doing in obtaining your higher spiritual awareness with White Angelica, and just seal that moment with the White Angelica. The Egyptian people were so in tune and so aware of their needs and how to address their needs in application. And anointing is something that we've always heard about in the Bible. It's talked about many times. And we don't always understand it or really know the full meaning of anointing. Anointing is a very special and a very sacred ritual that has been performed by the ancient people for thousands of years. It is something that's not really performed or talked much about anymore in our today world. But when we put the oils on in the Seventh Heaven Kit, Put them on with the concept in mind that you are anointing yourself with the sacred oils that God has given us the plants to be able to extract this oil from and have them for this special, special purpose. So enjoy your seventh heaven kit and find the benefits and the excitement of feeling those changes coming into your life and enhancing your spiritual awareness and spiritual attunement. Every one of the oils has great benefits in supporting our physical needs, in protecting our bodies and supporting the immune system and respiratory system and endocrine system. So no matter what you're doing with the oils of the Seventh Heaven Kit, like the other kits, Feelings and Golden Touch and Essential Seven, they all have many, many attributes. And you will experience and find benefits and you will have experiences that other people have not. And so always share them so other people may have the opportunity to experiment and to try and have those experiences too. Enjoy.